Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Jack Graham with Simply Vegas, and today I'm gonna show you the Darius Blend, my favorite, which is a next gen single story, 2,800 square feet, built by Richmond American Homes. We have a beautiful home right in front of us now. This home is not finished, okay? However, since they don't have the model, I figured, hey, let's go shoot a video for those people that are interested in building a Darius plan over here uh, in this community and, and check it out inside to see how it is, to how the next gen option works and all of that. We're located up in Sky Hills. This is the community of Summerson Ridge, which is a bigger floor plan. They also have Summerson Ranch with the smaller uh, layouts, you know, like the Annika, the Sarah floor plan, which are beautiful floor plans as well. We have a gated community, HOAs are 122 a month. Uh, Sid and Lid, they're about 8,900 uh, total if you want to pay it off up front, or you can pay, uh, you know, a monthly fee of uh, $48 a month over here. As far as starting price on this one, we have about $687,000 on the Darius plan as of today. And, um, you know, prices usually go up about 5,000 every two homes that they sell. So, uh, see that price increase is going to most likely happen in the future. As far as lot premiums, we're looking at 20,000. So out the door for this house, you're probably looking at 800,000 for 2,800 square feet. After all the upgrades, the science center, if you want to put a nice hard floor throughout the house, cabinets, things like that. We got our three car garage over here. Since we're here, let's go check it out. Um, we do have a little bit of room on the side of the three car garage. It's also in between right here. We have quite some space also. So that gives you a wider uh, three car garage. It's about 20, 22 feet maybe on this wall right here because it has an extra two feet 22 on this third car garage and about 20 on this one uh we got uh, an optional side door from the garage in this model unfortunately i can't show you the 10 foot ceilings um feel on this home oh shoot don't tell me they locked it here i need to try to get in here if not i gotta go and ask them to open the doors for me Oh, it's open. Okay. So in here, we do have nine foot ceilings in this home. Uh, and uh, nine foot ceilings are included standard. However, if you want to upgrade, and I would totally suggest you to do so, you can upgrade to a 10 foot ceiling. That upgrade is about $10,000. It will give you also the eight foot doors that you see in here with the 10 foot ceiling. So an extra foot uh, taller. It does allow a lot more light and uh, it's a really nice floor plan. Now, this one over here, as you walk in, you have two, uh, two bedrooms right here, one and two. And in between, you do have a Jack and Jill bathroom between the two bedrooms. So all that extra uh, space right here in between is the Jack and Jill bathroom. We got our sliding door closets over here. It's a good sized bedroom about, uh, this is a 11 by 12 bedroom. Definitely with the 10 foot ceilings, everything feels bigger and wider. For example, I was just with my clients right now, the congratulations uh, to both uh, Mike and Rhonda for purchasing this floor plan because they were just able to secure one with me. And, um, you know, we got this uh, floor plan right now and that's why we're here today. And, um, you know, they were gonna do the, they, we saw the nine foot ceilings in here and we were like, okay, this feels big, it's pretty big. But then we saw a smaller floor plan with 10 foot ceilings and it felt bigger than this one. So imagine when you put the 10 foot ceilings in here. So really something that I would definitely do if it was me purchasing this home because it does open it up a lot. Now in here we do have about a lot more square footage in this bedroom because as you can see, this bedroom sticks out a little bit more compared to that one. That one has that um, closet right there versus this one has the walk-in closet right next to that bathroom right there. Okay, so you have a little bit more um, space in this one, probably about 14 feet on this wall, still by 11 right there, okay? And then uh, we do have a full walk-in closet on this bedroom. And you have, right here it would be your linen closet, as you saw, and then the double sinks, you know, vanities, you got your uh, side uh, medicine cabinets and then the fiberglass enclosure tub and shower combo is what's included medicine cabinets are actually optional if you want to buy them some people like them some people don't I personally like them but uh, we got your lights on top 
overhead. Also, these are upgraded doors, by the way. These are like the farmhouse style door. Uh, you're probably looking at like six, eight hundred dollars or so to upgrade to that style. Now we're walking in. This one, you got the big open floor plan right there. I really like that layout. But over here to the left, we have our next gen. I'm gonna show you how that works in a second and how you have everything over there. Uh, for let's say you want to rent it out or you have someone that uh, wants to live with you that you want a little bit of privacy from. This would be your den right before the living room, okay? So <clears throat> this one has a probably, this is about 11 feet wide by 14 as well. So pretty much the same as the bedroom next door. It's just that, yeah, it's, it's a den. So it has this opening. You also have an option to put in a double door right here. So it will make this wall just a little bit smaller up to here. Then you have the double doors with the, if you want, you can get the glass option. Probably gonna run you about one to $2,000 to add that, okay? Now, in your living room right here, and we'll go to the next gen, uh, pretty much last, we'll go there and check it out. Over here, we have a big living room. I love the communication here. We got, like, we got the L-style, uh, um, you know, open floor plan with your dining room over there, uh, your kitchen over here to the left, and then you have it open right here to this big, uh, great, uh, great room right here. I'm guessing here's where your entertainment center would go. You got the sliding doors over here. You could also, these are the 12 foot sliding doors. You see three feet each panel. Uh, you could also option to get uh, 16 feet um, panel doors, which would literally go from like from here all the way down, almost to the end. So it will really open it up a lot. And this one is the eight foot uh, tall door as well. Okay, so that's awesome. Those, uh, if you want the, the sign door, the 16 foot sign door, that's probably gonna run you around $14,000 or so. Now this would be your kitchen. So you're looking at a big island. This is about eight foot wide. Uh, you have um, right there your refrigerator. You see the pre plumber right there for the refrigerator on top over here. You have upper and lower cabinets right next to it. Then right here is your pantry in the corner. Then you have right there your oven. It's gonna be a double stacked oven, including the base price. So it'll be a Whirlpool appliance package with the double stacked oven right here. And then you have your cooktop on top of your, well, right underneath your canopy hood, um, you know, right on top of the cooktop. And um, you can tell it's a cooktop because they did do this opening, this extension right here. So they're gonna connect to the cooktop right there with the gas. Over on the island, you're gonna have a nice sink that is gonna oversee right here, your great room. So really nice floor plan. I, I love this one because it has that option for the next gen, but the next gen doesn't really take away much space from your actual house because you still get four bedrooms. You get two bedrooms over in the entrance. You get the den right here that we just saw. And then you have your master bedroom over here. So you get three bedrooms, a den plus the next gen which is very rare to find. I think this is the only floor plan out here within a reasonable price range under 800,000 out the door that you can get here in the Las Vegas Valley. <clears throat> over here, they also added the sliding doors. Actually, no, this is the included sliding door. Over there, they added from the regular windows, they made a full sliding door. And that, that option with the sliding door that opens from the middle, those, that's gonna run you like about five grand or so. Let's see, this one comes also with the covered patio included in the base press. So as you can see out here, we got a full covered patio built in included. This is about 11 feet wide, 10, 11 feet wide right here. Um, really nice, really nice uh, backyard it's gonna have. Uh, you're probably looking, the regular backyard is gonna have about 20 feet starting from this line. So from the house from here, you're gonna have about 30 feet. From over there, it's gonna be about 20 feet out. Probably looking at where, where the, no. Probably where this, um, this, uh, this, post, uh, this post right here is. That's how big, how wide is gonna be the backyard going all the way out. It comes with dirt. They're gonna landscape it, or at least they're gonna give it a little bit of an elevation where it's gonna slope outside and away from the house away from the fence and then all the water is going to go out when it does end up raining so keep that in mind we got about five feet right here uh, distance from the fence to the house the other house another five so we're looking at 10 feet difference uh, a distance between each home 
very nice and private in this community in this community because we do have only single story homes now this elevation looks like it's the included one which is the spanish traditional elevation if you want you can also upgrade to a modern craftsman uh look on the house from the outside which will give you those uh flat roof uh you know it's gonna it's gonna have a little bit uh the the flat, the flat roof tiles and also the the roof lines are a little bit different depending on which elevation you go go with the first elevation the, i think the b is about six thousand uh, and the C, which is the most uh, loaded with uh, stacked stone, it's probably gonna go for about, what is that? Uh, probably 10, 11,000 or so. Now in here, we go into the master bedroom. We got a very good sized master we're looking at. This is probably about 15, 14 right there by 17 on this wall. That's what I'm guesstimating right here. Um, it's got this big window. You have also optional here, two windows that you can put right here on top of your nightstands. So it'll be one window there, one window there, okay. And then as a matter of fact, you can also add the two windows in your great room. So as you can see that big wall right there, you can add a window right there and also a window on the other side. So you can put your entertainment center in the middle, have a little bit more sunlight come into the house. But again, that's optional, some people prefer not to put the windows over there so that, you know, their neighbors or whatever, you know, you have a, like a six foot wall usually on top, or maybe there's gonna be more expenses just to put in, let's say, uh, you know, uh, shutters or whatever. Some people just rather invest that money into a bigger sliding door over here. Um, anyway, <clears throat> that's pretty much your options as far as uh, the windows goes. Over here, they're building what they call the deluxe shower okay what's included is actually a regular shower which is as big as this one i'm not sure exactly how the layout is but in this one you're going to have a tub right there which is what they're building right now with the tile all around and then right here you have another walk-in shower and this is a three by five walk-in shower so it's awesome that you get also the tub and the big shower in this model uh most likely they're going to put the fiberglass finish over here i, I don't see any prep for uh the no, actually, this it looks like it's going to be tile because they have this. Oh, is this regular drywall? No, that's regular drywall, it looks like. So, I don't know. Maybe it is for the tile. I'm not sure. Just depends on what they chose at the design center, these people that purchased this home. Um, tub, shower, double sinks right there. You're going to have the medicine cabinet optional again. Um, mirror right here on top. So, it's a nice layout for the bathroom. And then in here, you do get... Uh, your toilet and your master closet as well. Now, one thing to consider, however, is if you want a bigger master closet and a bigger bathroom as well, you can get it if you don't want that extra uh, next gen. Also, because and without the next gen, which is right behind this wall right here, um, you would have a little bit more room by taking away one of the rooms that is used for the next gen uh, and you can use it for the bathroom or you could also have what they do here is if you don't care about the next gen you could have a starting from the back you can have a master retreat which would be about this far out this would be the master retreat then the master bedroom would start from here somewhere over here along I think it's right there where that switch is right there because then you still have the door walking into the master right there next to the kitchen and then this would be the retreat over here on this side and then on this side you would have the master going out over here probably until that wall or even a little bit uh, farther back then after that wall you would have the bathroom and then you have just a regular den behind that bathroom behind so that that uh, now you're changing the next gen into just a regular gen or maybe you can do a, a regular bedroom or a regular suite with its own bathroom really depends you have you can really customize this floor plan based specifically onto your your needs and what you want good size pantry over here forgot to mention it we got a corner uh pantry right there but yeah so far really pleased with this floor plan showed you guys a little bit the the lots and everything they had over here i'm guessing my clients are likely going to be somewhere around 800 out the door 
for this house with the 10 foot ceiling lots of upgrades that they're going to put in let's say flooring done paint and all that stuff so just giving you guys an idea of what this floor plan is going to cost you out here in sky heels up in the northwest side valley of the of the you know of the las vegas valley uh over here we've got our coat closet when you walk in from the garage now the garage right here this would be that door that was locked right we got that garage entrance going in here you have your coat closet. Right across, we have our laundry room. Okay, so this is still part of the main house. And uh, you have also the attic access. As you can see, you have the HVAC system right there. And then you have right here, this is what's included. You just get a regular rack. You have the pre plumb for your washer and dryer, and that's it. And then if you want an extra, you know, if you wanna have the washer and dryer, you can purchase it from them probably not suggested for their high prices. And you can also get uh, right here, right next to it, to the right, a pre-plumb for a sink. Most people do, this person apparently didn't choose the pre-plumb over here, uh, but you can do that. And the pre-plumb is like $700 or so. If you wanna add the cabinets, top and bottom cabinets with the countertop and all the bells and whistles, probably looking at $3,800 uh, for that. You also get a linen closet here in your, um, in your laundry room. Over here, this would be a powder room for guests. So you have your sink and your toilet right next to it. Right there, you're gonna have your mirror and the lights right above. This one doesn't have a recess light up here because it's a small room, so that would suffice. And this is all part of the main room right here, of the main house. So you have a full house with three bedrooms, a den, laundry room, uh, two and a half bathrooms because we have that bathroom over there, the Jack and Jill, the half bathroom over here for guests, and then the master bathroom over there as well. Then when we walk over here on this side, that's when we get into our next gen option. So as you can see, we have a very big bedroom here. This is as big as the master, or at least as wide as the master, which I consider it to be 17, but this looks more like 18 feet deep. Uh, so it might be a little bit different because it doesn't necessarily mean it's as wide, okay? But then over here, we have, that would be, this would be the main room for the next gen. Now you do have an option to add a door right here, okay? So that will give you, the door is about 2200 to add an outside door right here. The window would be moved, uh, moved over right there, I believe. And then um, you would get the entrance to the main house over here. You could technically just lock this door if you have someone living in here, or you could just wall off this door eventually aftermarket. You can't do it with the builder, I know. Um, and then over here, you would have the bedroom. So this would be the main living room. You can also option to put in right here, um, like a bar with, uh, you know, you can put in a fridge, uh, the sink, and then you have all the plumbing and everything. You can put in a cooktop, like an electric cooktop aftermarket. They won't do the cooktop because technically if you put a cooktop, then that's considered a duplex and they cannot do that for the zoning over here. This will be your bedroom over here, which is a really good sized bedroom. And uh, you're looking at that window over there with your walk-in closet on this side and the full bathroom as well. So this will be your next gen setup, right? So closet, bedroom, bathroom, living room, all back here. You can put a kitchenette right there, close off that door, put the door back here on that side over there so people can come in from the side of the house and they never have to go in. Maybe an in-law is perfect or if you wanna rent it out. You got your walk-in closet over here, beautiful size. And over here you would have your sink, uh, toilet and your walk-in shower. So yeah. I think I've explained a little bit, try to make sure you know the house as much as possible without having uh, any furniture in here or anything, any flooring or anything to show you what how beautiful this house could be. But Richmond American Homes does have some beautiful single story floor plans. I personally love the Darius. It's the house that I wanna buy, just waiting for it to come out in a community that, uh, you know, it's closer to the side of town that I'm used to living in. But this side of town is beautiful. I've considered moving out here. It's, it's amazing out here. Uh, it's nice and it's elevated. It's about 3,000 feet above sea level versus the rest of the, body, the, of the valley is about, I don't know, 1,600, 1,200, something like that. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit cooler out here in the summer, which is great. Also, I forgot to mention up here, we do have a, um, 
front porch, it's included in the base price, okay? So this is actually the included elevation, as you can see. We got the Spanish contemporary look right there with the, with the round roof tiles versus the flat modern look, which is that one right there next door, which will be the more upgraded version. You know, front courtyard, really nice feel over here with mountains. We got Mount Charleston right there. We're literally 25 minutes away from Mount Charleston. And a uh, very quiet community. Really like it. Anyway, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this floor plan. If this is uh, something that you guys like or prefer. Or if it's not the floor plan for you, let me know what your thoughts are down there. I know it's difficult to picture without all the model, you know, without all the furniture and everything that the model homes have. Usually that you're used to on this channel. But, you know, hey, hopefully this helped you out. Or anybody that is out there purchasing this floor plan. Appreciate you watching this video. And I'll see you on the next one.